just had a, a dry, persistent cough throughout the day, and that was different. She sat down in her easy chair and said, I feel like I got hit by a bus. Annette Bramer thought she had the flu on March 11th until it didn't seem to go away. She was hospitalized for two days and tested positive for COVID-19. Then her husband Larry tested positive too. His symptoms were much milder, fatigue and lightheadedness, which he actually had before Annette got sick. Our hope is that people really take serious the stay at home mandate, um, because this is why. I mean, you could be walking around and not even realize you've been sick. Annette and Larry are in their late 50s, and they live in rural Martin County, which now has 23 confirmed cases of coronavirus and two deaths, proof that rural areas are getting hit. The Bramers don't know where they got it, they have not traveled, and their eyes were open about how easily it can spread. The Department of Health asked me to put together a list of people I'd been in contact with. The list was well over 100 people. The Bramers say they are two of six people at their church who've been infected. Living in a small community, they say people recognized Larry and called the sheriff after seeing him at a gas station after he recovered. People weren't trying to be mean. I mean, they were Just truly concerned. concerned. Yeah, you know, but it is kind of eye-opening how we're kind of viewed right now. You kind of feel like the leper, you know. The Bramers have a message to the thousands who eventually will get COVID-19. Most people will survive this, so we just can't be fearful. We just need to be... Be smart. Be smart. Lou Raguse, Care 11 News.